it coming, I'm supposed to follow And I don't even want to help the chain If this is really what it's like to let go It was all in my brain It's something living in the house tomorrow Cause he don't even want to help a face This is Amanda Kennedy with On Tour Monthly I'm here with Rick from Adelita's Way so your previous album, Homeschool Valedictorian, was highly successful. I know you guys had a couple uh, number ones on the Active Rock Radio. Was there any pressure during the recording process to produce something that would meet or exceed the expectations people had? No. no. no we, uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't even think about this record in context of Homeschool Valedictorian. We didn't even think about this record in context to anything that any band of today was doing. No Shine Down, Theory of a Dead Man, Three Days. Any band, we were just like, well, they've done what they've done. We wanted to make a record that 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 we felt w was deeper, man. We wanted to make something that that when you step out ten years from now, people listen and they're like, that third record from Adelita's Way, you know, was the one that the that, that really started them in into the into the era of. of I want to headline this festival when it's done. I want I want. I'm not trying to open for nobody. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be the guy. So we made the record with that mentality that we were trying to be the the band. We weren't trying to be. Uh, the band opening for the band or the band direct supporting the band. We were trying to be the band. And we made this album with that mindset and we didn't, no, the, the pressure wasn't the top homeschool valedictorian. The pressure was the top every record that came before ours. You know, we wanted ours with the place of, you know, Nirvana and, 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 and Metallica and, and bands who've, who've just created such a powerful legacy of music. I know it's much harder today because today's music scene is, is really during the, the dark age of music, but for, for, for even this time, I, I want to entrench myself in and, and, and have my legacy in music. So the new album, Stuck, was produced by Grammy Award winning producer Nick Raskulinix. Um, tell us a little bit about that process and did you learn anything from him as a musician? The whole process with Nick was all about capturing the live show and the organicness of rock and roll. You know, like so many bands today don't even play, play their instruments, so many bands today can't play their instruments, so many artists today can't even sing yet they have million dollar houses when the artists who can play the bass, can play the guitar, we're the ones struggling, we can't even feed our families, it's insane. So we really took pride in the fact that we're able to, I'm able to sing every song I write. We're able to play every song we, you know, so we, we approached the record with a really live mentality, organic, live, and that's what Nick brought to the table. If you listen to our new album, it's a band jamming live and, and you can feel the energy. And what's the current release date for that? July 29th. Stuck. You can pre-order it now, and you get a song. You get the title track for free. Um, so the first music video for that album is "Dog on a Leash." With everything that's so readily available on the internet, like constant feed of information, do you feel that music videos today are still relevant, or do you think that can be vital? I think they're viewed as content for the fans. It's all content for the fans. I think uh, everything's about, you know, uh, you, with technology today, it's about giving the fans constant constant content constant material you know we took a year and a half off so we really lacked material and 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 and, and I, I enjoy taking time off so people appreciate you when you come back if you're just there all the time it's like it's like a great mother it's like an amazing mother you know like my mom was amazing and she was always there always just being a great mom to her sometimes you don't step back and realize how great your mom is and sometimes people do it with bands you don't realize how great your favorite band is until the day they say we're, we're not a band anymore you know, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen to us because we're going to keep making records, but I like to take a little time off, people to think about missing us, people to want more material, people to think about what they would give for a new Adelita's Way record because I'm hard at work trying to write another one. You know what I mean? Um, so over the last couple of years, you've lost a few members. Um, what are some of the difficulties that you face? None. None. We're in a different era. You see it out here. We're in a different era of music. The rewards are minimal. You know, it's tough to get people to leave their families. It's tough to get people to, 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 to spend living in, 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 uh, in hotels, you know, for seven, eight weeks when they have wives waiting at home or fiancés, especially in the climate. You see how it is. No one, no one buys anything anymore. Music is free and available, and, and the artists are the ones that are really suffering from it. You know, the labels are still finding ways to make money. And, and uh, the, the bands are the ones who are, who are mortgaging their homes to make records and, and selling their cars to make albums for the fans. And, and I, I don't know when that happened, but I think uh, that's where music is. So it's tough to keep a stable five guys, you know, going through this bis of war out here. You got to be a general to stay. All these bands that are here, some of them will come and go. Some of them will be generals. Some of them will be here. 
You know, Adelita's way is, is, is a general of the rock army. Five Finger Death Punch are doing it. Hailstorm's doing it. You know, bands like that, we're, we're, we're the ones that aren't, aren't giving the battle up. You know what I mean? We're the ones that are still like, no, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to just try to be great and let, let talent speak for itself. You know, everyone else wants to black tape us from the Grammys, from the VMAs, from the, from the media. We're just going to speak with our music and with our records and with our fans until they make so much noise that it take, we take it back. So, last question: um, What can we see in the future from you guys with the new album coming out? Is it going to be some extensive tour? You're going to see one of the best bands in rock and roll. I'm telling you right now, we're coming to take what's ours. We're coming to set our spot in this in this era of music. Over the next couple albums, people are going to see real, you know, that we're not messing around, man. We're coming. We're coming to, to really, you know, there, there's a bigger picture here in, in music, man. I don't view this as a singles game or a sales game. I view this as your place in history. Where do you fit in? Where do you fit in with the greats? And I want to fit in nice and cozy with them. So even if it's for this time, you know what I mean? Um, we're going to be touring nonstop. The record's coming out. We'll be on the road, you know, uh, blowing faces off one show at a time. Awesome. You heard it. Watch out.